My vision for the AMI is that it is regarded by its members and the broader marketing fraternity as the leading professional body for marketers in Australia. I think it's really important for us to have stronger links to our members, academia, industry and government and combine this with the ethics and values of customer-centric service that marketers need to be proud of. And to the marketer, we look to develop their career, whether they're starting their career, they're in the middle of their career or they're looking to improve themselves through their career. Ultimately, it's all about relevance and value. How relevant is the AMI to the career aspirations of members? And importantly, how do members value what the AMI offers? Now, based on our consultation with members, I'm very clear that the AMI's primary purpose, in a nutshell, is to help our members fuel their careers, regardless of where they are on their career path. What I offer the board is actually one, my, my passion that I have for the profession. It's that balance between a science and art and so it can be very strategic and creative and I think also it's one of those few professions that has actually expanded so much and so there's always something new to learn. What I think I bring to the AMI is 15 years of practical experience as a marketer and also 15 years as a lecturer in marketing at different universities. I wanted to give something back to the profession that's rewarded me so much for many years. I've spent nearly 20 years in academia, uh, teaching in Australia and also in China. So that brings a, a global knowledge based on theoretical underpinnings. I really think it's important to help marketers and educate marketers and more importantly educate the new marketers coming into the future is something that I see as the role of an AMI director. It's not what's in it for me, it's what I can provide, not just to the AMI, but to the greater community. By getting, you give. By learning about marketing, being in tune with people, you actually give that back. And what happens is you step back and become the objective observer and participant in business. I've been on the board for the past two years and chair for the majority of that time. Prior to that, I served on the New South Wales State Committee. I became a director because I wanted to give something back to the profession that I've been part of for the past 30 years. I'm passionate about enhancing the status and recognition of marketing as a true profession, and the AMI plays a significant role in achieving that outcome. In a practical sense, I also bring expertise in building member-based organisations. Although by uh, my degrees in marketing, being a finance broker, I've always worked in finance and also um, therefore had a lot of experience with accounting and that type of thing. So I find myself, I, I'm on the finance committee, the AMI, and we've looked to stabilise the, the organisation, although it's a not-for-profit uh, organisation. Of course, we've got to make sure that uh, we have sufficient surpluses and sufficient cash flow to undertake the activities for our members. A lot of organisations are um, very focused on keeping uh, information on customers and uh, it's good for students and people coming through into marketing to understand the value of uh, the data that's being collected and how it can be used. Understanding that everyone has different needs and wants um, and that um, you are not here to sell something, you are here to make a connection. Building that relationship with uh, people and connections will bring out that loyalty that's been missed in the so-called old sales routines and oh, there's another marketing campaign trying to push this and this and this. So I think people will become a lot more trustworthy, loyal and have that emotional intelligence. Be open to learn new things, um, to challenge yourself. Um, never assume that you know it all, especially in marketing because it is changing so much. This will change marketing drastically. What this also means higher productivity, increased efficiencies, more safety and more convenience for customers. But this will have ramifications in regards to impacts on jobs. We don't actually know what type of jobs will be available in the future, but we believe there will be jobs. They will just be very different to what we're currently used to doing. With all this metadata, we may be seeing that um, consumer behaviour, people with those type of skills, are more jobs are created in those areas. But again, at the end of the day, that information has to be translated to strategies, to products, uh, through advertising, and brought to the consumer, depending on whatever discipline that may be. They're just going to be more the tools that people and marketers will use to do their job. I think marketing will be an extremely interesting field to be in for the future. 
And I think we're safe because we will still have jobs.